Hello and welcome to Geothermal University, brought to you by Intertech Global. I am Brian Long, part of the engineering team. In this demonstration, we are using the YT in the left side return configuration. Remove the two front panels. The pump kit will be attached on the left side lower rear panel beside the water connections. Before we mount the pump kit, we need to remove this panel to install the condensate drain onto the drain pan fitting. Remove the selected cabinet drain port. This is the round one inch plastic cover on the corner post. Locate the condensate drain kit in the bottom of the unit and then assemble the parts per the instruction in the unit IOM. Be sure to use the parts that have been provided in the kit. With the condensate drain installed to the corner post, reinstall the lower left side rear panel. The pump kit will be installed onto this panel. Loosen and remove the small black plug above the water fittings. This opening will be used for the flow center conduit. The easiest way to remove the plug is with two hands. Push the plug from the inside outward while grabbing the plug with your fingers. Remove the large red plastic plugs from the double O-ring water fittings. These openings are for the flow center elbows. Review the contents of the plug and play kit. It should have the flow center, which is either the GeoFlow, AGFC1G, or AGFC2G, a couple elbow fittings, a fastener packet, lubricant, caps and connection adapters, written assembly instructions, publication number 20D215-01NN, and water connection insulation covers. You'll also need a couple of wire ties to dress the pump wires. These are supplied inside of the YT filler plate kit located in the bottom of the unit. Inspect all O-rings and confirm they are in good condition. It is important to lubricate all O-rings on both ends of each fitting before connecting. Be sure to lubricate the inside of both fittings on the unit as well as those on the female threads of the flow center. Assemble both fittings onto the flow center. For the next step, an extra pair of hands is helpful. Another option is to place blocks under the flow center to line up the flow center fittings to unit connections. Lightly hand tighten all double o-ring joints. These will be fully tightened at the end of the installation. Collect the four self-tapping screws and sets of washers to connect the base. The order is number one screw, number two steel washer, number three flow center base, number four plastic bushing, this is the white plastic bushing, number five is rubber washer. Be sure to use this order when assembling. It is important to level the flow center. Drive the self-tapping screws into the corner post and then panel one at a time. Do not over tighten to avoid stripping the sheet metal panels. We recommend starting with the top corner post screw then check if it's level before securing the remaining three screws. Remove the conduit slip nut from the end of the conduit. Place the wire in the conduit through the uppermost hole in the panel. This is the opening that you removed the plastic plug from earlier. On the inside of the cabinet, attach the conduit nut to the back side of the panel. Connect the flow center pump wiring to the unit wiring using the socket connector inside the cabinet. We recommend using zip ties and attaching any excess wire to tubing insulation. Secure wires so they do not come in contact with any copper tubing. Complete the wiring connection in the control box using the wiring diagram inside the control box cover as needed. Pumps must never run dry. Do not power pumps until flushing and purging is completed. Reinspect and tighten all water connections, making sure that they are well connected and properly tightened. This completes the assembling and attachment of our plug and play flow center. Refer to the YT unit IOM for further steps needed to complete the installation of the package heat pump. If you have questions, please call Intertech Technical Support at 618-664-5860. Thanks for watching.